Have you ever wondered how to transform your crochet from a flat to a more full look? Well, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this look. I'm starting out by pulling the desired amount of hair that I want to work with to the front. And I'm going to start to take piece by piece of the crochet hair. And I'm pretty much just separating those curls. It's good to try to start from the bottom and work your way up while separating. It'll cause for less tangles, but I pretty much just repeat this for my whole head. Since that will be pretty boring to watch me do this, I sped this part up and all I'm doing is separating and if I get any knots, I'm pretty much cutting those off. So for this next few minutes, I'm just literally separating my curls. Separation of the curls give the hair a whole new look. It takes the hair from really flat and dull to more full and voluminous. So in this next step, I'm starting to take some of the length off of the hair. I bought the 22 inch hair, which they actually sell it in shorter lengths, but my beauty supply store was out and it's fine if they don't have it you can just cut it to your desired length i prefer this method anyway and no need to be a professional at all when doing this um i am no way shape or form a professional i just took my scissors and went to my hair honestly but when doing this just cut in a downward motion and it's curly hair so if you mess up, it really doesn't matter. You won't be able to tell anyway. So you want to constantly measure and look in the mirror to see if this is the length that you desire. Because it's easier to cut too little than to cut too much because you can't get that hair back. So in this next clip, you're seeing me show you the difference between the hair this is the side how the hair looks fresh out the pack. My cousin literally just installed it and this is the transformed look. So my last step with cutting is me just evening up my hair. Um, you want to do this to be, be sure that your bob or your length of hair is even on both sides. You don't want to walk around with your hair being longer on one side and shorter on the other. So you pretty much just go around and shape up the hair and even up the bottom. And I literally almost forgot to mention, but this is the Free Tress Water Wave hair and it's in the color number two. For the final step, I am styling my edges. I'm using my Eco Styler Gel and my favorite toothbrush. Typically, I would have left more hair out, but no worries. The older my hair gets, the more it will come out and I'll be able to blend the front better. And that's the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And please hit that subscribe button down below so that I can see you guys in my next video.